The Turtle Room. Education, conservation, survival. All right, guys, I'm here at the Museum of Natural History um, uh, in New York City, Central Park West. Um, I'm the home of one of the great science communicators, Neil deGrasse Tyson, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a, of a peek at what's going on here. Behind me, I have the exhibition of the body, the carcass, if you will, of Lonesome George. Um, so we're going to check that out for you guys real quick. Hopefully I've given you enough of a, of a segue into this. Um, that is him. Um, Again, this is from the island of Lupinta. Uh, we covered in the last episode the uh, population of the island of Española has recovered remarkably. Went from 15 animals remaining to now there's over a thousand. Um, this is one of the less fortunate islands, or one of the inhabitants of the less fortunate islands. Um, not a crazy amount of uh, of interest. I, uh, I've been here for about 15, 20 minutes, and maybe it's been 60 people come in here. Um, this exhibit is right next to the dinosaurs. I think that might be part of the problem. Uh, closely related to the turtles, as we also discussed in the last episode. But, um, but yeah, this is this is him. He's actually a little bit smaller uh, than I would have thought. But again, he's just one example of uh, of that uh, of his genus species. Um, this young, that lady is delightful. But I didn't get a chance to talk to her. But, um, so, that is him. Lonesome George, lonesome no more, adored by millions a year. Um, sobering reminder, though. This is what can happen if things don't change. All right? Thanks, guys. To learn more about the Turtle Room's conservation efforts, please visit theturtleroom.com slash conservation.